Tuesday, July 18th, 1939, near Millinocket, Maine. Weary woodsmen gave up tonight until dawn would bring reinforcements and a brace of state police bloodhounds in the search for 12-year-old Don Fendler of Rye, New York, lost since late yesterday on the slopes of Mount Katahdin, Maine's loftiest... New York state troopers have flown into Bangor today with bloodhounds to aid in the search for young Don Fendler, lost since Monday in the Katahdin region of Maine. Day two of the hunt led searchers to the edge of a 400-foot sheer slide where footprints matching the boys were found. News that the boys' tracks had stopped at the edge of the slide halted operations of the 106 searchers for the night. left their work and gone without sleep to participate in what has grown to be the biggest search of its kind ever seen in the state of Maine. National Guardsmen Folks ordered... Folks that 12-year-old Don Fendler might still be alive were rekindled late today with the discovery of new sets of footprints believed to be those of the boy lost since he wandered from his hiking party Monday. A haggard foot saw army of several hundred searchers end of the fourth day of... Army of searchers, the hunt goes on today, July 23rd. Now one week from the time young Don Fenler became lost on Mount Katahdin. New York State Troopers and their bloodhounds withdrew from the search yesterday, and the Maine National Guard was reported tonight to be on their way home. Today, the discovery of a heavy odor emanating from a deep crevice near the top of Mount Katahdin has led to the belief that the body of 12-year-old Don Fendler, missing since last Monday, has been as found. As many as 500 men had combed the mountain during the past week. However, only about 50 men remained on the scene today as official search for the young Fendler has all but been abandoned. Twelve-year-old Don Fendler emerged from the dense Maine woods today with the eyes of an admiring nation upon him. Fendler came to the Lung Sioux sporting camps over 30 miles from where he first became lost atop the summit of Maine's highest peak over a week ago the today. The prayers of millions around the nation have been answered today, but none so much as those of the boy's parents. Mrs. Fendler told the Associated Press, God in heaven brought my boy back safe to me. I thank God he's alive. by hospital attaches and reporters, Don was reunited with his mother and father at the end of an 83-mile ambulance ride from Grindstone to the Eastern Maine General Hospital in, in his Bangor. room at the Eastern Maine General Hospital, the courageous boy reported that he felt all the time he was making progress towards civilization. Despite the trials endured over his nine days imprisoned in the dense woods of Maine, he simply never gave up hope. 